Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story where I share with you two things that I absolutely love, teaching and crochet. This is Saturday and this is um, my time to celebrate with you the year of the Granny Square and I have for you a couple of little Granny Squares, well they're not little, but some Granny Square designs that I found in my book that I've shared with you um, a couple of weeks ago. I'll share it with you again here in just a minute. And I kind of came up with a cool, what I think is a cool idea of how to use them other than just in a blanket. But before I get to sharing that with you, let me say thank you to all of you that are here catching my video. You know, those of you that come back time after time, you know that I greatly appreciate your support. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome in to you as well. I do hope that you'll stay till the end of the video and leave me a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And also, maybe just a little comment down there and tell me what your ideas would be if you made up these little granny squares. I also would encourage you to go and check out all the other content on my channel and hopefully it'll lead you to hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and then look for the bell that has those hugs on the side because it'll let you know every time I upload some content. And speaking of content, I would really like to ask that all of you consider sharing out the video because as I said, this is the year of the granny square and you know what? She has grown up quite a bit from the little simple granny square that we knew when we were kids. Now, I'm going to remind you of the book that I'm working out of right now. Now, I have more than one, but this is the one I started with. This one's called 3D Granny Squares. I got it off of Amazon, and I'll be more than happy to leave you a link down in the description box so that if you don't have it and you would like to have it, you'll be able to just go right there, look at it, and see if it's something you might like to add into your library. All right, now, when I first did the video for the uh, year of the Granny Square, I showed you one in which it was just a very plain square. Uh, in fact, it really didn't have the Granny Stitch, other than how it starts out right in the middle, you know? And then after that, it just really kind of took on a very flat, plain pattern. Well, I kind of altered that one just a little bit, and I'll tell you what I did with it here in just a minute. Um, let me see, let me see, I thought I had it marked. Okay, there she is. Now, what I did was, I had found this one granny square in here. Uh, it's in the section of farm animals. And I just really, really loved it. I thought it was just so cute, look at that. It's just a little rabbit, or a little bunny, of course, is what they call it here. And so I made it up exactly like the instructions said to do. And I've already blocked it a little bit. It still needs a little bit more blocking. There she is. Isn't she cute? Look at those little flowers up there between her ears. And yes, folks, those ears do flop back and forth. Isn't she cute? And really, she blocks up quite nicely. So, that plain, um, let me set that right there. Um, that plain square that I had, um, I didn't want to waste it. So what I did was I took another square that was built pretty much like the rabbit here, where you start with the rabbit face in the middle and get the circle you need, and then you build that circle into a square. Well, since I already had my square, what I did was I went and kind of altered this next little design. Where are you? There it is. Now you can tell that that's a cow. But if you look in the background of it, the green part of the square, it's pretty close if the, if the cow had not been made on it like the bunny rabbit it would have been that same plain beige background that I had. Well, folks, what I did was I made the cow, but I made it 3D. In other words, I made it like an applique. I took the 
face of the cow and went ahead and made it. And instead of making the, making the circle into a square, I just stopped. And then I went ahead and made its muzzle, made its, these are two piece ears, made its little horns. Now, I don't know if you can see the eyes that call for black. Um, I know all cows and horses and everything have black eyes, but anyways, but there they are. Now I'm gonna make one more and I haven't quite made up my mind. Well, yes I have. Let me show you what I'm gonna make to go with my little theme here. Cause I think it's absolutely adorable. Look at that little lamb. Isn't it cute? And these, this little fluffy part here around its face and everything, folks, those are just chains. At first I thought maybe they were puffs but they're just chains. That's all there is to it. And then you finish it out in its square. Well, you know, these, these are pretty big. Okay. And as I was telling a friend of mine, I just think these little 3D ones are just, um, I don't know that I would want to make them into a blanket. Uh, now she said, you know, make uh, four or five, let's see, what did we say? We did three across the top and four, no, we said three and three. Anyway, nine squares. So we'd make four of the little um, applique patterns and make five that were just blank, stitch them together, make a wall hanging. Well, you know, that's a pretty cool, like, cool idea. But let me tell you what it was I thought about. You know that foam board that you can get, it's about like maybe a quarter of an inch. So this is my idea. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get me some foam board and I'm gonna cut it about an inch wider than these squares are. Okay, you know where I'm going with this? And then um, Dollar Tree has um, squares, I think they're about 12 by 12 um, wallpaper that you can just peel off and like stick anywhere you want to. Uh, they're made more for hobbies, you know, where you can cut up a piece and just stick it here, then yonder. I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to make it the background by covering my foam board that I've cut out. Put, you know, cover it up with that. And then I'm going to take these. I haven't figured out how I'm going to tack them on there yet. I mean, I don't want to hot glue them, but I'm still working on that bit for a little bit. And I'm going to put these on the form. <coughs> excuse me foam boards and make them like little pictures to hang up on the wall. Wouldn't that be cute? Do several of these and, and scatter them along the wall in a nursery or a toddler's room. I just think these would be adorable done like that. You know what I mean? Especially these that are done in 3D if you didn't want to make a blanket out of them. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going with mine with this project at the moment anyway. So um, I'll be out this next week seeing if I can't find me some foam board. And like I said, I had seen on someone's channel because they were doing a couple of DIYs back at Christmas where they found these sheets and you can get them in all different kinds of backgrounds and textures and stuff. And they just come in like a 12 by 12 sheet and you can buy like five or six, I think, in a package. So why not? Like I said, stick it to a foam board piece that you cut out and then I'll just stick my squares on there. Get me some kind of little hanger if I don't, maybe get some jute. That's a good idea, isn't it? Get some jute, knot it, and put it on there too so you can hang it up. That's where I'm going with this anyway, and I, I'll i keep you posted as to how that little project there comes out. But that's what I'm thinking about doing um, with these squares at the moment. So hopefully by next week, I'll have my lamb done, I'll have the foam boards cut and covered up and then these little guys mounted finished out for you to see what I'm thinking you know seeing in my head anyway I'm hoping that it's going to look just as good as what I'm seeing well that's all I have for you for today I'm going to say look forward to next Saturday looking at my third one the little sheep and how I'm going to go about figuring out how to display them other than just using them in your traditional blankets okay
So I hope you like that idea. Maybe you can come up with some of your own. Uh, if you do, leave me some comment ideas down in there at the bottom. Tell me what else you think I could do with these cute little squares of animals that we can make using the granny square idea. Okay? Well, until tomorrow, please remember, like I always say, be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know could be your special light that they need to see. I love you all. Bye.